So Adesanya and Costa. The promo just dropped today for UFC 253. I'm so excited for this fight. I'm sure so many of you are. I don't know how it's going to go down. Really, nobody does because we both have our opinions and it's one side or the other. It's Costa is too strong, too powerful. He's going to bring it to Adesanya. He's going to break him. He's going to make it rough, dirty, and he's going to just use, impose his will, his strength, his brutality on him and make it almost like a Mortal Kombat fight. We've got the other side to it. We've got who's got, who in a championship fight brings more precision, more more technique, um, more athleticism than Israel. He's had over 80 kickboxing fights. In his first two years in the UFC, he's become the champion, he's so dominant. The only competitive fight, other than maybe Marvin Vittori, is Kelvin Gastelum, where he got caught with a head kick. But after that head kick, he kind of just took control and then nearly finished him in the final. It's absolutely mind-blowing to me that some people are completely riding Costa off saying that he's got no chance, or other people going, uh, Izzy isn't all that. Which is, again, just, to me, this is a complete 50-50 fight. I think whoever imposes their game has it, and it's simple as that. Israel, nobody can match him on the feet. Nobody in the middleweight division right now. Right now, Israel is the best striker by none, and he's shown that. He's shown that by just toying with Robert Whitaker, dropping him at the end of the first, I'm finishing in the second. Why would he risk everything for a guy that didn't even want to move forward at all? Again, like you will. Picks off you will. If you fought Darren Till, for instance, Darren Till is an elite level strike in the division. I think it would be competitive, but I think Israel would outdo him as of this moment. The experience of kickboxing is just, he, he moved into MMA at the correct time. He's in his prime. He's in his early 30s. He is, if not 30, he is at the perfect stage of his career to show absolute dominance. Whereas Costa has to cut 35 pounds, I think he said. He is abnormal. The guy is, as, as he said, a blown up Ricky Martin. He is so ridiculous. He is on the level of Yoel Romero, but he cuts even more weight. I hope he makes the weight. He's never missed weight, as far as I'm aware, so I'm sure he will. But how do you guys see it going down? Let me know in the comments below. Interact with this. This is such a good one. Let's share this around. I really believe Izzy's going to get it done. I really hope he does because I'm not a fan of the personality of Costa and I don't want him representing a champion, personally. You can argue with that what you like. It's a debate. It's awesome. Come on, Izzy. I'm on Team Israel here, but uh, how do you guys see it going down? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Cheers, guys. See you in the next one.